Sex is the life force energy that runs through us all. Can you use sexual energy for your spiritual evolution or perhaps for emotional healing? Is it even possible? Clinical sexologist Dr. Martha Tara Lee will explore all these and more on Eros Evolution on Om Times Radio. Hello, hello, and welcome to Arrow's Evolution. This is where sexuality and spirituality meet. Today we're talking about clean and clear emotional re- freedom through releasing. And um, this is something that is close to my heart. I'm going to start a 30-day campaign starting from the 1st of April. Um, do you feel negative and heavy about life? And you set off by little things. Do you want to be able to forgive someone in your life but not know how? How about having some balance restored and room for love to flow back into your heart? There's no need to be in stuckness, worried or afraid of what tomorrow will bring and if you break down. There are many techniques to be a clean and clear person emotionally so that love and balance can be restored. There are powerful practices that can restore your heart, mind, and soul. And so in today's show, we're going to be talking about what these techniques are exactly. And I'm doing a shout out to for all of you to join me in my new uh, 30-day Clean and Clear campaign. In this uh, Facebook um, close group, what's going to happen is we're going to be releasing free videos, interviews, and resources For those of you who are interested to follow us on this 30-day journey, and the link is facebook.com backslash groups backslash clean and clear. So the N is uh, not A-N-D, but A-D-N. So it's clean, A-D-N, clear. So that's the intentional typo in that to symbolize the chaos of life but actually clean and clear A-N-D was not available, so I went with A-N-D. Anyway, if you go to a Facebook search and you type in clean and clear, the campaign will come up. And um, do join this group. So far, there are, uh, let me see, so far there are 86 people who have joined this group. And um, I'm starting to post uh, things into the group every day. And um, this is going to be a really awesome uh, campaign. So why did I start this uh, campaign? Well, I, I think that um, as a sexologist, uh, we often talk about uh, the importance of pleasure and uh, orgasms and all these uh, questions that I get about how this, how that, what's the average, what's normal, what's common, and I think it's really important to talk also about the other side of pleasure. Um, We talk about pain and pleasure, and um, really what uh, can uh, be really useful is talk about what's blocking uh, pleasure, and often it has to do with uh, the pain uh, that we've had in our lives, the negative beliefs, the negative attitudes, and um, which results in uh, behavior that doesn't support our sexuality. And it's very common to, to, um, for, for this uh, to come up in my work. We have negative thoughts, which uh, results in us having negative beliefs. Our thoughts, um, if repeated enough, it becomes a belief, it becomes a pattern. And uh, this belief then affects our attitude. It becomes... Uh, sort of an attitude problem, and um, from there on, it, uh, uh, of course, is connected to our behavior. So thoughts, beliefs, attitudes, behaviors, and sometimes it just starts from that mingling, little lingering um, thought that doesn't go away, and uh, there's this wounding that happens. And uh, sometimes um, these uh, thoughts, feelings, emotions 
um, they, they, they get stuck into our bodies physically when we uh, are uh, shocked, when we are angry, when we are sad, when we are scared. All these feelings um, that are actually something that is uh, transient and temporary and probably in just in the moment um, can actually become uh, a deeper uh, uh, feelings that are locked into our bodies called emotions. So the difference between feelings and emotions is that feelings are temporary and present time focus, whereas emotions are something that is uh, to do with often the past and uh, much deeper. So when we talk about emotional release, what we want to do is let go of what doesn't serve us anymore, let go of what uh, is a negative and um, um, much deeper in our, in our consciousness. And what we want to do is uh, be able to let go of that. And um, so I'm going to be sharing with you on today's show to do, uh, some different techniques in which you can do that and you can begin to do um, and uh, hopefully you will also find it useful and join me in the Clean and Clear 30-day uh, campaign um, that is absolutely free. The reason why I'm doing this campaign is uh, so that we can uh, talk about emotional release. When we have emotional freedom, it gives uh, space for more good things to come into our lives. And it's really important that um, we do that because when we have more freedom, we become, uh, as the title mentions, clean and clear. We become uh, much more happy. We allow for more space and room for pleasure um, to then come into our lives. So it's, it is important for all of us to take responsibility for ourselves in that way. And I'm sure all of you uh, who are uh, a lot of you who are listening to this um, show right now are people who consider yourself spiritual, and uh, this channel being uh, on On Times Radio Network is uh, in no coincidence. And uh, of course, I'm interested to always talk about uh, positive sexuality, be, being a sexologist. But increasingly, I feel that um, there are some people who really need to empty their cup and um, get clearer so that pleasure can come in much more easily. Um, there are people who uh, are not so comfortable with emotional releasing. They feel that uh, if I release, uh, then what am I letting in? What if uh, the devil uh, gets in? I think it's really important to be really intentional and uh, really uh, start to have a confident and comfortable relationship with our body, so much so that we can begin to see how that is, um, that is uh, something that we, we are always at choice. Being able to do uh, emotional release will facilitate that. Uh, one of the uh, things that, that happens is um, there are also people who are not comfortable with um, the negativity that comes up as they start uh, thinking of the past and um, uh, they're afraid that it's going to be too much, it's going to be too overwhelming, that they get sucked into this um, dark hole. And I just want to um, reassure you that um, letting go doesn't mean that it's going to stay in your body. Letting it come up and letting go means that it's not going to have a hold over you the way it used to. And um, therefore, the importance of emotional release. We are more powerful than we think we are. And we tend to uh, also, be, uh, being complex human beings, overcomplicate things. And uh, not want to uh, go with uh, what seems to be too simple. And uh, sometimes we... Um, I have all these emotions that actually become really comfortable and asking ourselves to do things such as releasing uh, can mean uh, losing what uh, has actually become comfortable even though 
uh, we actually are not necessarily happy. So this is what I mean by people who are stuck. They are stuck and don't really know that they are stuck and don't want to admit that they are stuck, stuck and um, don't want to do anything about it. And uh, so that's why the importance of doing emotional release. So I hope I'm um, making a case of what is emotional release, the importance of emotional freedom, and some of the uh, myths and uh, fears that I start to hear from people when it comes to letting go of emotions that uh, uh, that uh, um, that uh, once you let go, what is going to come in? There's a fear of that. There's a fear of uh, uh, things coming up that is too much and uh, where you cannot cope. And um, then there's also that um, belief that uh, uh, letting it come up means that that is going to stay with you. That's the whole point of release. We release meaning we let go and it's not going to bug us or bother us the way that it used to. And uh, so this is uh, once again the Martha. We are talking about clean and clear emotional freedom through releasing on today's show. And uh, I'm actually in Penang. Uh, that's Penang, Malaysia, and um, it's, a, it's an island just off Malaysia, and um, I'm here for a week, so I am presenting from Penang today. So we have a break, stay tuned, and uh, we'll start going into the emotional releasing techniques after this break. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Om Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Om Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Hi. I'm Kelly Fox, host and astrologer of The Astrology Show. Each week, I'll give you access to the current transits, which are a valuable tool that provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has. Understanding the stars can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, be sure to tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance. Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Every two minutes, an American is sexually assaulted. The majority of victims know their attacker. It could be your friend, your neighbor, or someone you met at a party. If you said no, it's rape, and it's a crime. This is Christina Ricci with RAIN. Call the National Sexual Assault Hotline today at 1-800-656-HOPE or visit RAIN.org. That's R-A-I-N-N dot O-R-G. Brought to you by RAIN and this station. And welcome to Arrow's Evolution. This is where sexuality and spirituality meet. My name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist. And uh, you can find me on... Um, uh, omtimes.com forward slash mobile right now. This is where you can listen to this show without needing to download any app. And uh, this is a, a great link, omtimes.com forward slash mobile, which you can share with your friends. So I suggest that you do that because you're going to be doing them a great favor by um, letting them know about this channel and this show. And uh, when we don't have shows going on, we actually have really nice music on the Own Times Radio Network. And in um, this uh, station, we are talking about the link between sexuality and spirituality. And on today's uh, show, and uh, from there, you will be able to attain emotional freedom. Just before break, I was explaining what is emotional release, the importance of emotional freedom, and some of the myths that uh, does come up in my work when I encourage people to uh, use these techniques. Um, some of the fears and resistance um, are addressed just before the break. And uh, right now, I want to talk about uh, some of the very basics 
when it comes to emotional release. This is something that I learned from my supervisor and teacher, Tantra teacher, Laurie Handler, and uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, emotional release, if you do it consciously with breath, sound, and movement, uh, is uh, very, very effective. Um, that's not to say you cannot use one technique. Um, that is to say if you use all three, you are a lot more effective than if you use just one. So breath is a form of emotional release. So let's start with that. So breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So if we even if we, even as we just breathe without intention, immediately by returning to our breath, returning to our body, we start feeling better. So this is really important to understand. Emotional release is about feeling better. If you do something and you're not feeling better, um, maybe you don't want to be doing it. And so what we're focusing on with just breathing is on the emphasis on letting go. So when you breathe in, you're expanding your lungs, expanding your stomach, breathing down into your body, and letting go with the exhalation and with sound. And when you breathe in, and exhale with breath, with sound, and you're also intentionally moving your belly, you are already beginning to do emotional release. It's really as simple as that. And if you want to be a little bit more elaborate or deliberate uh, in your emotional release, what you can do is add intention add intention by saying, okay, right now I want to let go of that angst, that um, negativity that I just picked up in that meeting, for instance. So you can say, I want to let go of that uh, shock, sadness, anger, frustration that I just picked up just now. I'm going to let it go with my next breath. So with that intention, holding it in, breathing in, and letting go. It's really as simple as that. There are many practices about emotional release, as I mentioned, and uh, this is just uh, one of it. Um, the next one um, that I like to suggest to you is movement. You could uh, um, do it uh, with bigger movements, other than what I just mentioned, which is breathing in and expanding your stomach and letting go with an exhalation. You can do movement in the in the form of maybe shaking your body. Uh, obviously, we breathe, otherwise we will pass out as uh, human beings. So we breathe whether we are conscious of it or not. And um, so breathing in, letting go, and this time shaking your body on your exhalation. So this is a much bigger movement than just expanding your belly. So breathing in, letting go, and this time shaking your shoulders from side to side. So this is a bigger, more intentional movement that results in a bigger release. Something that would be even bigger than shaking your shoulders is a dance. So as you breathe, and move and make sounds. You on your feet. Maybe you're bouncing up and down. Maybe you're tapping uh, your feet from side to side. Maybe you put on some music. It could be drumming music, and you just bounce up and down. And maybe you move from left to right, and you begin to allow your body to sway. And you add the intention of letting go of any tension in your body. That is another form of emotional release. So now I'm beginning to talk about different variations of emotional release, and I'm talking about different things you can do with regard to emotional release, very simple practices that is not scary at all. There are people who think emotional release is scary. It's not. It can be as simple as your next breath. It can be as simple as getting up and doing a little boogie. It is as simple as that. 
some other emotional releasing techniques that I have learned um, um, when I was at ISTA Level 1 training. ISTA stands for International School of Temple Arts. I went for the training in India, and they were conducting it for the first time in India. And I went because my tantra teacher, Laurie Handlers, was teaching there. And um, at ISTA, um, they also covered emotional release. And in fact, they see as the pivotal part of being able to have emotional freedom and letting in pleasure to come into our lives. And so for the first time, practices that I do do uh, is now making a lot of sense and the importance has really come to the foreground and uh, this is why it has um, triggered me to start this 30-day Clean and Clear Emotional Release campaign on uh, Facebook. So be sure to join it on uh, Facebook uh, group that's clean and clear. That's A D N, not A N D. A D N uh, backslash. So it's Facebook. dot com backslash groups backslash clean A D N clear. That's the project Facebook group that uh, everything will be released there. So some other emotional releasing techniques. Another one is hand scream. This is where you put your hands over your mouth uh, into a little fist and uh, you scream into your hands. Um, this is when nobody can hear you. So you close your mouth, you put your hands over your mouth, and you scream into your hands. So I'm just going to uh, let you hear what that might sound like. Put your hands over your mouth, and scream into your hands. So it feels a bit um, muffling, and um, what I found in my experience when I do a hand scream, screaming into my palm, um, is that I feel those emotions are coming up even strongly. And uh, this is when, of course, when we stop and come up for air, we can let it go with our next breath. So amplifying that sensation in our body and then letting it go. Uh, a variation of hand scream is pillow scream. This is when you hold on to the pillow and uh, you basically scream into the pillow. And these two techniques are really good when you are in environments where you don't really want to be making sounds. Say for instance, if you live at home with your parents, you are very conscious of uh, roommates next door, or you're at work and you don't want to um, express yourself verbally. So hand scream and pillow scream are two really good techniques besides just breathing. So grabbing a pillow, grabbing your hands, screaming into your hands, these are some uh, very, very basic techniques. Another technique that I really like is uh, pillow hitting. So you, you hit the pillow um, and you may want to propel or lean forward a little bit so that the tension that is stored in your stomach gets released as well. So it's uh, the use, the conscious use of breath, sound, and movement. So when you're moving your body by rocking back and forth and hitting the pillow in a rhythmic uh, manner, you let go with sound. So you might go, huh, huh. So you, you lean forward and then you go, huh. And so you're letting go with your sound, with your breath, and with movement, with this rocking uh, motion. So hitting the pillow, in, um, in what I learned at ISTA Level 1 in India is that we let go by not um, clenching our hands into a fist. We actually open up our palms and um, hit the pillows with open palms. And we do so because we are really focusing on letting go and hence the emphasis on emotional release. If we clench our fists, uh, clench our hands into a little fist, into a ball of fist, what um, happens is we actually invariably, 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 unconsciously, subconsciously hold on to some of that um, tension still. What we want to do is let go. So it's, it's all about being really uh, intentional in the way you're doing that um, emotional release. So I've already covered, uh, if you don't remember, uh, five different techniques so far. And after a break, I want to cover a, a different technique that actually is uh, going to take a little bit longer to explain. So far, we've covered um, 
letting go of negative emotions with your breath. <sighs> We've talked about letting go with sound, shaking yourself, uh, your shoulders from left to right, and uh, breathing and making sounds at the same time. So breathing in and letting go, uh, shaking your shoulders, letting those emotions uh, to come up. We talked about uh, dance, talked about dance. Um, maybe swaying from side to side, bouncing up and down, and moving your body more than just sitting. So you, when we stand, obviously we have more range of motion that is possible. You may want to put on some music. Um, drumming music really, really gets us into um, a, a rhythmic pace, and it also uh, drumming is uh, quite primal and it reminds us of um, the heartbeat that we uh, felt and heard when we were in our mother's womb. So it, it does take us really deeply, uh, rather quickly. So that's uh, emotional release uh, technique two. And then I talked about uh, hand scream, screaming into your palms. Talked about pillow scream, screaming into your pillow. Uh, both of them, uh, hand scream and pillow scream, being really effective in uh, being relatively soundless and uh, uh, useful depending on what kind of environment you're in. And then I talked about pillow hitting. So oh, we have another break and uh, do uh, participate and do some emotional release during this break. So see you after this break. Free your mind with Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. And I'm Susan Schuler. And I'm Lori Walker. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. Tune in every week at 10 a.m. Eastern on OhmTimesRadio.com. The angels have heard your call and are here to help. Are you ready to receive? Bathe in the beautiful vibrational frequency to help you heal, expand, and remember your magnificence with Angel Talk Tuesday. What's up? This is Brad and Mike from Lincoln Park for Life Beat, the music industry fights AIDS. Listen up, times are tough and you get a lot of things thrown your way. If you're being pressured to have sex and you're not ready, then say no. If you're having sex, be smart and use protection. Respect yourself and protect yourself. For more information, call the National AIDS Hotline at 1-800-342-AIDS or log on to www.lifebeat.org. And you are listening to Arrow's Evolution on the Om Times Radio Network. You can share this show with your friends right now by going to the link omtimes.com forward slash mobile. With this link, you will be able to listen to this show without needing to download any app. It's really cool. And today we are talking about my 30-day campaign called Clean and Clear. It's completely free. In that Facebook group, you're going to be able to get videos on emotional releasing techniques. You're going to get interviews as well as freebies. And um, this is completely free. This is my little effort to help humanity so that all of us can become clean and clear. So we have emotional freedom through emotional release. And uh, the link that you want to go to is facebook.com backslash groups backslash clean, A-N-D, clear. That's Clean and clear with a twist. That's A N A D N clear. Uh, excuse me. So I have a little uh, call. So just before this break, um, I was um, talking about uh, um, the five uh, techniques that I have on emotional release. And uh, some of the people who are listening into the show on uh, Facebook Live that I'm uh, streaming uh, knows that um, uh, more of these techniques. But actually what I want to share right now is another technique which uh, 
um, um, I do, before I knew about all these um, uh, Easter level one uh, emotional releasing techniques, um, this technique is called Linwell releasing. That's L I N D W A L L. That's Linwell releasing. And you can do a quick Google search about it. So there are master practitioners around the world uh, doing the Linwell releasing techniques. I am not a master practitioner. I want to be really clear about that. However, because it's so powerful, I do teach it. I do teach it because I want to help more people. And if you want to find a master practitioner, you can look for Heiko and Selena. So they are the original people who taught me the Linwell releasing technique, which I have been doing for close to 10 years now. And I let me tell you that uh, Linwell releasing was my first experience to conscious releasing of emotions. And um, when I first encountered Linwell releasing techniques, I was extremely sure that that was one of the turning points of my life, that it was going to support me and it was going to be something that I would do for the rest of my life. And uh, trust me when I say that this is really, really powerful. So Heiko Selina, that's H-E-I-K-O and Selina, they are the master practitioners of Linwell releasing and you can look up Linwell releasing techniques. And even as I say this, uh, some um, things are coming up to me, which is uh, EFT, emotional freedom technique. This is where people are using uh, tapping. Um, this is when um, there are many uh, other uh, emotional releasing technique. There's uh, trauma uh, releasing exercises. There is um, uh, somebody that I interviewed uh, who I'm featuring in Clean and Clear, and her name is Simone and uh, Endow, and she's talking about um, uh, being a journey a facilitator. So I want you to know that there are actually many uh, releasing um, emotional releasing techniques around the world. Many simple ones, uh, such as. Um, going back to your breath, being one of them. And uh, there are um, slightly more sophisticated uh, techniques. So don't be scared or overwhelmed by it. I'm not here to tell you that one is better than the other. I'm here to tell you that there are many, and it is for you to experiment with them and try them and uh, see what works for you. Something that works uh, well for you for a time and uh, a season, uh, sometimes um, it doesn't work as well uh, after a while. It's the same as um, a workout. If you have the same uh, workout routine or regime, and uh, after a while, your, your body just goes into inertia. You're still uh, getting some benefits from uh, doing that same workout. Um, however, you are um, getting the most benefits probably in the first few weeks of it. And uh, sometimes, we get to a point where we just need to do something different to just shake things up and uh, maybe uh, get back to that uh, regime or routine or workout uh, afterwards. So here, here I am uh, going now into Linwell releasing. So let me explain it by saying that before I knew Linwell releasing techniques, I knew uh, about affirmations. And affirmations are statements that are in the, the um, positive they are uh, always positive, they, you don't have to believe in them, and um, they are always uh, phrased with uh, I am statements. So present, moment, time, focus, even if you don't believe in them, always uh, phrased in positive ways, and always with uh, I statements such as I am. So I'll give you an example, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. So just sit that, all of you. <laughs> I am beautiful. How does that sit with you? Do you believe that you are beautiful? Do you have uh, negative uh, feelings coming up because you don't really believe you're beautiful? Even being able to claim that word, I am beautiful, I am beautiful, I am beautiful, starts to shift something within you. Okay, so in affirmations, what you're doing is uh, you, you're claiming the qualities that you seek to have. I am beautiful. And uh, these are um, positive statements, okay? In lingua releasing, uh, you, you are going into what is uh, painful. 
and so you go into I release. So you start with the words I release. It's uh, really as, as simple as that. And in uh, Linwell releasing, you are going into uh, um, thoughts, feelings, emotions, attitudes, beliefs, behaviors that are negative, okay, that are not positive, that you are conscious is bugging you, is bothering you, is stopping you, is acting as a stumbling block, and you just have that intent of I release. May not work, you want to release. And so you say I release dot dot dot. Okay, so for instance, let's work with I am beautiful. Even as I say I am beautiful, there are resistances that are coming up. And uh, what we want to do is want to let go of some of this resistance that is stopping us from claiming I am beautiful. So you might say, I release my belief that I am not beautiful. Breathe. <sighs> I release to be overcritical of the way I look. That is stopping me from claiming I am beautiful. Breathe. <sighs> So notice how that begins to shift for you. I release my belief that I can never be beautiful because I have been told that I'm not beautiful. Breathe. I release to hold on to that belief that I'm not beautiful because I do get acne every, every so often. Breathe. I release my belief that I'm not beautiful because I'm balding. I release my belief that I'm not beautiful because I have um, extra 10 kg that I'm carrying around. I release to believe that I'm not beautiful because I have thunder thick thighs. I release my belief that I'm not beautiful because I, I, um, I don't feel beautiful. So all these things that um, are are blocking you from your belief of feeling beautiful, you just release around that issue. You can be creative around it. You don't necessarily have to be so blatant as go directly into the topic of beautiful. Can, uh, for instance, I release my belief that I'm not beautiful. That's pretty obvious that that's what you want to release. However, releasing uh, things that are stopping you around this topic um, that I've given you examples of just now, uh, just helps shift that dynamic so there is a little bit more room for the belief of I am beautiful to start coming into your life. And so uh, this is Linwell releasing. And uh, if you're interested uh, for me to um, uh, talk more about this technique uh, or to listen to this uh, technique more specifically, you can go to uh, YouTube and type in Martha Jumpstart 3. That's Martha Jumpstart 3, and you'll be able to see this uh, video called Jumpstart uh, Video 3 of 3 uh, that I made a couple of years ago. In that particular video, I actually talk about uh, linear releasing technique quite extensively. And remember, what we want to do is we want to uh, give room for pleasure to come into our life, and um, this is the reason why we do releasing. And you can do releasing not just with um, beliefs, uh, for instance, the belief of I am beautiful. You can do releasing around uh, actual physical pain that you are feeling. So we're not just talking about emotional release right now. We're talking about physical pain. So for instance, I release the pain that is on my knee or elbow um, um, that I just hit just now. I release the pain on my, on my knee right now. I release my belief that just because I hit my knee, uh, I, my knee is going to swell up tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to get a bruise uh, tomorrow. I release that belief right now. I release to be over-attached to that belief that uh, pain comes with um, marks, for instance. I release that um, belief that uh, my face is going to swell up after my uh, facial. I release to be over-attached to any uh, battle scars, for instance. <laughs> so you can do re releasing around uh, pain, physical pain. Um, why not try it as long as it makes you feel better? Anything that makes you feel better is worth trying, isn't it? And uh, you can uh, uh, release uh, also, for instance, 
to be, I really love this, to be overcritical of yourself. So I release to be overcritical or I release to be over-responsible for the happiness of my parents. I release to be over-responsible for the happiness of my partner. I release to be over. The emphasis is over. And uh, we all have responsibilities, yes. We have responsibilities in life where, uh, with our work, with our loved ones, with our family, with our friends. We have responsibility that we take on. And that is not to say that responsibility is bad. Responsibility is part of being a mature adult. Here we are talking about over-responsible, over. It is the over that is the killer. It's the over that makes us feel that life is scary and overwhelming. And it is the over that is causing us to go into um, burnout and depression because it, it's just too much. It's too much. We feel that we can't take it. And so we want to let go of... Um, what is uh, unhealthy and uh, not positive and not serving us. So we want to let go of over as opposed to being responsible. That's different. So we don't want to escape our responsibilities, but we definitely don't want to be over responsible. So you might want to say, I release, breathe. I release to be over responsible for the happiness uh, of, uh, for instance, my listeners. So we have a break. I've been talking about Linva releasing, and in the meantime, keep practicing Linva releasing. I'll see you after this break. Bringing you the best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Join me, Tammy Adams, intuitive life coach and spiritual healer, for my new show, Karma Talk. Learn how to get rid of your karma so that you can start living the life you are meant to live. I am not going to tell you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Join me on Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time for Karma Talk on Om Time Radio. It's on us to stop sexual assault. To get in the way before it happens. To get a friend home safe. And to not blame the victim. It's on us. To look out for each other. To, to not, not look, look the other way. way. It's on us to stand up. To step in. To take responsibility. It's on us. All of us to stop sexual assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. And welcome back to the last Welcome back to the last 15 minutes of today's show. This is Arrow's Evolution. This is where sexuality and spirituality meets. And uh, as a sexologist, I always talk about pleasure, and today I'm focusing on pain. I'm talking about letting go of negative emotions and feelings that does not serve us. And whether we know it or not, um, sometimes uh, when, we, when, we, when we have a, a negative emotions stuck in our body, we really don't know that it's there because it becomes something that we are used to. If you carry um, this... Uh, one, one um, kg or one pound of rice on your neck um, every day, uh, you're not going to realize over time that uh, this is something that's weighing you until um, it, it gets released and it, it's removed from your neck. So it's the same. We're carrying all this negativity that um, is um, actually uh, stopping us from having more pleasure. And so why not just let it go? So far in today's show, I talked about uh, letting go with our next breath. We talked about dance. We talked about hand screen, pillow screen, pillow hitting. And uh, I just 
um, now before the break talked about lingua releasing technique and um, that is just um, a very simple uh, technique um, that you can do uh, and uh, the, fundam the fundamentals behind uh, emotional release is the conscious use of breath, sound and movement and uh, that is the premise of it. A lot of, of, of these negative emotions are stored especially uh, in our belly, in our stomach, in our second chakra, in our power center, in our sacred chakra. Um, it's, a lot of it is stored in our stomach because um, this, is, this is where um, our, our center is. So when we have shock, uh, a lot of it is actually absorbed and stored into our stomach. So what you want to do is you may want to um, be conscious about um, moving your stomach, about tapping your stomach, about uh, shaking it up. And um, these emotions that are being released, uh, sometimes we don't know what is being released specifically as we are doing pillow heating or pillow scream or hand scream. And uh, sometimes we are doing it because we feel bad. Uh, and there are people who say, I don't need to do emotional release because I don't feel, I feel okay. I don't feel bad. Uh, uh, what if, what if we, we just do it and uh, things are coming up anyway. And uh, as long as you feel better, as long as you feel lighter, why not do it? And uh, so uh, with lingua releasing, what happens is you actually do need to know the issue that you want to be uh, letting go of. And you may even want to um, lie down, be deeply relaxed, and just ask. Just ask your body um, what do you want to release today. And um, um, memories might come up, childhood memories might come up. So this is a, lit, a little bit deeper work uh, that can happen, uh, which is uh, what Heiko and Selena um, does as master practitioners. Uh, I'm not a, a master practitioner. I, I, I do share about the lingua releasing technique because I know it's very, very useful. And we can do it in a conscious level as opposed to a subconscious level. And so with the lingua releasing technique, one can go really deep into it. So um, there are many, many more things that I want to share with you about uh, uh, clean and clear, about emotional releasing techniques. And uh, some of them are not so easy to do it uh, just uh, verbally because uh, on this radio show there is no uh, visual. So this is the reason why I have uh, made uh, videos and I'm going to be releasing it in my 30-day clean and clear uh, Facebook uh, project. It's completely free, and you can join this uh, campaign by going to uh, Facebook uh, groups. That's facebook.com backslash groups backslash clean and clear. And it's not A-N-D, it's A-D-N. That was a typo when I created a group, but anyway, clean and clear was actually not available anyway. So it's clean, A-D-N, clear. Okay, and uh, so I pretty much want to wrap up my um, little discussion about Clean and Clear today. And I want to talk about something else that I'm going to be doing uh, next week. Uh, next week is uh, going to be the first week of spring, and uh, it starts from March 20th. And um, National Orgasm Week actually runs from March 20th to 27th. It was originally uh, coined and uh, created by um, Dr. Roger Labby. He's a sex therapist and he's one of the pioneers of a several um, sex uh, positive related uh, associations. And uh, he was also the person who coined the term sex positive. So I was very fortunate to be able to interview Roger Labby um, and to find out more about the origin of National Orgasm Week. I'm going to be releasing uh, videos uh, relating to uh, orgasms uh, next week. So my aim is to release uh, one video every week uh, for um, um, the first week of spring. That's uh, March 20th to 27th. And you can um, be able to access it by going to uh, several places. You can actually subscribe to uh, my uh, newsletter called Arrows Coaching. That's eroscoaching.com. Then from there, you'll be able to get my e-newsletter. And uh, from there, I will announce how you can access all the videos. Uh, you can also join me on uh, my Facebook uh, page. That's uh, Arrows Coaching, E-R-O-S Coaching. From there, I'll be releasing these videos as well. You can also follow me on Facebook. Uh, and my profile is Lee. You can follow me 
um, there. I will also be releasing those videos there. And uh, I I have um, um, a Facebook uh, group also called Arrows Coaching. You can also follow me there. So um, I will also be posting these videos onto my blog uh, on uh, arrowscoaching.com. So you can follow me there. <laughs> so these are the places in which I'm going to be sharing um, the different videos relating to National Orgasm Week. So I'm very happy about it because I don't want to be talking about pain all the time either. I don't want to be talking about emotional release all the time either. I want to be talking about pleasure. And so National Orgasm Week is a good opportunity to do it. Every month, every year in May uh, is um, a masturbation month. And it was declared um, because it was um, uh, triggered by um, Sergeant General, um, who was actually uh, removed from her job by saying that uh, masturbation was healthy and normal. And uh, the sex shop Good Vibrations created um, May is for Masturbation Month. And uh, so every year for me, I have been doing something relating to masturbation. And this year, I've decided to do something related to masturbation, but not quite uh, orgasms. And I have been asking people on my Facebook what kind of videos they want me to make for uh, National Orgasm Week next week. And uh, so I'm making those videos uh, this week uh, in Penang. I've rented this uh, Airbnb. It's beautiful. It's a nice space with good lighting, so I'm really hopeful about the videos turning out well. Um, if you look at National Orgasm Week, you'll be surprised to find that actually there are um, con contradicting uh, dates for National Orgasm Week. Uh, in Australia, it's uh, in August, and in the US, um, it's uh, some other dates like June. Uh, but actually, National Orgasm Week was origin originated by uh, Dr. Roger Levy, as I mentioned just now, and uh, he actually wanted it to be the first week of spring because uh, back then, uh, the first week of spring was when um, the kids would, uh, the college kids would go and uh, hang out and uh, by the uh, uh, river, and um, of course, they would um, have sex. And so he wanted to encourage them to practice safe sex. So that's why he created National Orgasm Week. Okay, so having talked about Clean and Clear and National Orgasm Week, I um, now want to do a little uh, shout out, uh, if I may. Um, and uh, I'm going to be uh, doing uh, um, uh, my third book. And uh, I have many book ideas, and um, this. Um, project just cannot wait because it's time sensitive. On the 20th of April, it's going to be the, um, the, the start of the eighth year in which uh, Arrows Coaching has been in practice. So I've survived a seven year each. I, and, um, it's, it's, it's really significant uh, for me. It's a real milestone because um, truth be told, I've never kept a job for more than three years, and I've been doing arrows coaching for coming to eight years now. I'm coming to the end of seven years, and so I thought, why not just play with this idea and um, come out with a book about my journey of being the first um, sexologist in Singapore with a doctorate in human sexuality. Uh, Singapore, as a lot of you know, is the most uh, economically prosperous Asian country in Asia. We are at a really good position where um, there's a lot of flights and routes and um, pl basically planes and ships passing through Singapore that has helped make Singapore a really prosperous country. However, being Asians, we are actually quite sexually uh, stunted and uh, there's not a lot of sex education uh, for me when I was growing up. So in deciding to be a sexologist, uh, it was really quite a, a big move, uh, considered quite a, a pivotal um, pioneer uh, for Singapore. So I uh, wanted to talk about um, um, how I uh, was uh, burnt out two years ago, how I have learned 
from um, being a sexologist to become more comfortable with my sexuality and how I have ventured into learning about Tantra and achieving bliss dates. And I want to talk about everything in between, including things that are useful to uh, people who are going to be reading this book about how to survive a seven year each, meaning like sexual uh, uh, boredom or getting caught in a sexual rut or people in relationships where um, it doesn't serve them anymore. So uh, do go to Indiegogo and I'm doing a crowdfunding and you can look for my book, I Survived a Seven Year Each. And I hope you can support uh, this um, uh, crowdfunding project. And so next week, I'm going to be talking about hacking your sex life with sex ha hacker Kenneth Clay. And Kenneth Clay is a Asian sex educator, um, probably not born and bred in Asia like me, um, but I'm very excited to interview him for next week's show. So stay tuned to Arrow's Evolution next week. And in the meantime, do your emotional release practices. Be clean and clear. And let in pleasure into your life. So this has been Dr. Martha Tarali of Arrow's Coaching. Stay in touch. Be good. And keep